Hey guys, my Fast 1225 here. So today I want to talk to you guys about Elder Scrolls 6. So Bethesda, Zenimax, nobody said anything about this game. So this video video is pretty much all speculation. Uh, we will have some things that have some evidence in them, like the game taking place in Hammerfell and stuff like that that has copyrights and hidden information that other people have found. And I just want to share all the information we have with this game with you. And I figured that I'd just make a video tonight on it. So let's talk about, first off, the release date, because I know a lot of people want to know about this. So the biggest problem in terms of the Elder Scrolls 6 release date is Fallout 4. Now, I'm not saying Fallout 4 shouldn't be made, or uh, Elder Scrolls 6 should be put ahead of Fallout 4. But Fallout 4 is definitely going to be coming out before um, Elder Scrolls 6 does. We've already seen some leaked screenshots from the game. It's definitely coming out, and it's either going to come out at the end of 2014 or maybe in 2015. They obviously haven't said anything about that, but we won't see Elder Scrolls 6 before that. So even if Fallout 4 did come out at the end of this year, we wouldn't see Elder Scrolls 6 until at least 2015, and even then Bethesda almost never releases two games back to back, or two major games back to back. So I wouldn't expect to see Elder Scrolls 6 until at least 2016, probably 2017. Now YouTuber only one game 3R, he says in a video that it's, but someone in Bethesda leaked to him that the game is going to be released 2015 and we'll see like a teaser trailer in 2015. He also said that he knows that they're working on it. Now this doesn't mean that the game's in like full-fledged development, but it might just be that they're like doing some concept art, you know, planning out the story, just doing a little bit of, you know, pre-production. Uh, really just, you know, in just, just getting started with the project and I wouldn't be surprised with that. But I definitely don't think we'll see this game before 2016, and I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see it till 2017. And that's not abnormal, El uh, Elder Scrolls games always take long breaks between them. I mean, if you look at past release dates, they always come out like five years apart. And it's frustrating because the games are so awesome, but they are extremely big games and they do take a while to make. Also, we do have the Elder Scrolls Online coming out, and even though that's not being made by the same people, it might give us some time to still play Elder Scrolls games, and it might they might feel like they can sort of push back the Elder Scrolls 6 release date because we will have an Elder Scrolls Online or an Elder Scrolls game to play. So let's talk about the possible location for Elder Scrolls 6. Now a lot of people online think the game is going to be taking place in Hammerfell, and a lot of people want it to take place in Hammerfell, and I agree with them that I do think the game will take place in Hammerfell, and I also would like to see it in Hammerfell. And so there's actually some proof behind this speculation. So Zenimax, which is the parent company of Bethesda, recently uh, they put in a trademark for the name Redguard for a computer game entertainment product. Now obviously that's just a video game that they're making, and when this was announced or when people found out about this, everyone thought it was a new DLC for Skyrim where you're going to travel to Hammerfell, but since we all know that there's no more uh, DLCs for Skyrim, which is upsetting, but they, they've definitely announced that there's no more DLCs for Skyrim. There really is no other possible reason for them to trademark them that other than Elder Scrolls 6. Now, they've also been trademarking this for a while, and they keep uh, sort of putting in new trademark requests for it to keep it recent. So that would lead me to believe that they're working on that project right now. So I'm pretty sure that the next Elder Scrolls game will take place in Hammerfell. So now let's talk about the story of the next game. So obviously there's nothing known about the story at all, other than what we already know about the lore and the story of other Elder Scrolls games. So my prediction is that the next Elder Scrolls game really focuses on um, the war between the All Married Dominion and the rest of Tamriel. Um, Skyrim sort of sort of built to that, but it really didn't escalate to full on war. And, uh, obviously, the Stormcloak questline was all against the All Married Dominion and the Imperials, and even the Imperial questline, even though they were fighting the Stormcloaks, General Tully said that he thinks that eventually there will be full out war with the All Married Dominion. So, sort of this building like friction between everyone in Tamriel and the All-Mary Dominion would definitely lead me to think that the story will ha take place with war during with the All-Mary Dominion and that definitely wouldn't surprise me and that would be what I really think the story is going to be about and other than that I have no ideas but I would really like to see that I really like the Imperial and Stormcloak quest lines in Skyrim so I'm definitely excited for that if that is the story 
So now just in terms of my wish list, I really don't have anything to say other than that I think the gameplay can be improved a little. It would be the gameplay, but really I mean I don't if it's as good as Skyrim it'll be amazing because honestly I love Skyrim so much. I spent like 300 hours playing Skyrim and it's just a fantastic game. So if the next Elder Scrolls game is as good as that one, I really have will have no complaints at all. But I think the gameplay could use some improvements. I think a good example of how the imp gameplay could be improved is The Witcher. It's another fantasy game, but I think the combat in that game is a lot more solid than it is in The Elder Scrolls. But I definitely, the gameplay is not the biggest part of The Elder Scrolls. It's really all about the story and the lore in the uh, test games. But that is one thing that I feel like they could be improved on. So that's pretty much it for this video. If there's any more news on Elder Scrolls 6, I'll be doing another video on it, but I doubt there will be. Um, other than that, I'll be covering Elder Scrolls Online. I have an Elder Scrolls Online podcast every Saturday. And so if you guys are interested in that, make sure you subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.